We ain't worried about the rest. False talk. Tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop. The hustle don't stop. Man, Same old up. shit. Gr grind it. You know ain't nothing changed. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, Madel. Hey, man. What's going on with you? Nothing, nothing. Blessed. 2022. I'm here. We hey, here. Hey, man. We got a guy here today, man. He's a, he's a frequenter of the, of the show. He comes in <laughs> when he feels to, you know, does what he wants to. You know, we got a lot of respect for this guy, man. Um, when I didn't have no followers and no subscribers or nothing, I got a hold of this guy early on, and he didn't hesitate to come and support what I was mm -hmm. doing. What we were doing. Well, I'm boss talk. <laughs> we boss talk. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, man. You're the official Miss Jamaica, man, which, what we was doing. Shout out to Money Moses, who ain't here tonight. Exactly. Hey, man, I got my boy Half Paint. What's going on, Half Paint? What's up, with it? Man, it's good to hear your voice, man. Good to see you, man. Yes, sir. What's, what's Again. Been, uh, again. Again. Um, so what's been going on, man? Tell me. Um, <clears throat> just give me. I'm going to start this off a little different. I want to say this. Uh-oh. Oh, she wait till she get. I want to say this. He wearing that junkie. Where's your gear you supposed to be wearing? I see you launched your new gear. You supposed to be wearing your gear. Hey man, I I, I just took them to get pressed up a few hours ago, so they're not gonna be ready till Thursday or Friday. Well, mm -hmm. next time y'all see me, I have. But you'll know, bring nine I over. Got, here? I have some for y'all. Yeah, not like we'll have a whole. Uh, we'll we'll have a whole uh, show dedicated to half time when you get when you launch it officially. Bring them back. We gonna uh, do it. We'll the way get we you do some it. models too. We, we got sure. you some models. You don't have to worry about that. For I sure. promise. We're going to show out. <laughs> you know, and bring you time. See, you, see, you see it on the flyer right there. Yeah, I love that. Oh, yeah. okay. I love okay. that. Okay. So what, what inspired you to uh, do a clothing line? Uh, I should have been did it a long time ago, actually. You're I right. actually You're did right. it before. In like 2017, I had some, would you look at this, shirts. Um, It, it went well. I just didn't never Keep it continue. Up. Yeah, I just did like one order. Got them to. I really did a lot of giving them out, and I did like booty shorts for the girls. I was in the strip club, just giving them, giving them away to the strippers. It it, it, it served its purpose, but see, that's what you got to do in the beginning, though. You yeah. got to give that merchandise. What you say, product placements. Well, I don't think he has to be so keen on that now because he's no. more established. Yeah, because you built your exactly. brand. But but back then, yeah, back you then. was like me. I was mm -hmm. yeah, I done been there. You yeah. start trying to do something to make something happen. Exactly. But thank God that you've been consistent. Mm hmm. And I've uh, been doing this thing. So everybody know who you are and what you got going. And if they if they hate us, they're going to back up. If they love you, they're going to come closer. Yep. So design-wise, what did you do differently with the design now than you didn't do back then? Um, I just switched it up. I just, I just switched the whole look of it up, really. I'm actually using that design not only for my clothing. That's going to be my new design. You'll see it on my videos mm. and, and everything that I have going that you'll see. Would you look at this on? Besides my chains or something like that, I'm not switching my chains and shit like that. Tattoos get another and chain and add it on. I might. Or get another tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I might, but yeah, that's that's the new logo going forward. But so, that, but that's smart because that's what you have to do because when you look at McDonald's or any of these, because we look at these big exactly. chains, they use that same logo at, on everything because that's what people see in and know you by. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Would you look at this? Where did that come from originally? Like when you first said, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, actually, I know, I know. Ronnie said yeah, it because I've Ronnie been on. Yeah, but it was actually a guy named uh, Ed Bassmaster. Okay, on YouTube, it was like a funny ass YouTube video, and he was uh, saying, saying somebody to look at this car. It was like, would you look at this car? And yeah, so that's where it came from. <laughs> so, and when you when you when you knew that was gonna be the yeah, that's the tagline. Yeah, I never switched it. it. Once I put it out there, it hit so hard. That I just knew I had to. Stick you knew with. you had. Who so. designed the logo though? Uh, but the first the new one. one. The first one. Um, it was a guy named uh, D Hawk CM. He put it together. You just told him what you wanted, and yeah. he did it. Yeah. Okay, so why change from that logo to this? Well, actually, no. Matter of fact, now okay. Now I think about it. My very first, would you look at this logo? I did it myself. I actually like. I didn't even know how to use like. Photoshop or none mm -hmm. of that. I actually put it together in my video editing program. Okay. And just screenshotted it. It was kind of. I wish I. I wish I had a picture of it right now. But then I sent that one to him, and he just made it look a little better. And then this new one, uh, my partner Juice Juice Designs did it. But why did mm -hmm. you feel like you needed to upgrade? 
everybody always every logo always upgrades after how long after no it's been well, it's been years mcdonald's haven't up, upgraded yeah, I mean, they changed the look a little bit. A little bit. They never changed Ralph the Lauren. art, but they they changed the look. A little Ooh, bit. you talking about McDonald's? Yeah. They had that one little thing at first on both sides of the building. It That's was the arch. It's like first, first, first. Yeah, it was, yeah they still that, got a few of those, too, where mm-hmm. it just, boom. In, but I this think in one California. has been around for decades, how they've had it now. Mm-hmm. That yep. color matters. I think color matters a lot when you're doing stuff like this. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you got to have popping color. So how are you going to change up the design? You're going to change the styles per, you know, like season. You got the summer. I told somebody this, and I try to educate on this channel. Um, you should have a summer, right? Mm-hmm. You should have a fall. You should have mm-hmm. a winter. And you have and a you should have line. a spring. And you, and you have, just a have a core line. Uh-huh. You need to have all three. All, it take a little bit of, you know, uh redesigning <laughs> a little bit of work but now, i but got, I got a couple different designs already made that's just that's that's just the first one no I'm no, no. Now, but I is like this that. going yeah. to be your core because you know how when i say your core that's the design that will never go away, go away. this Correct. is what's going to always be so one got to be basic like that. logo that one is this okay. The, okay my original i'm still i'm always you're still going to press those and have those and sell those y- yeah Okay. okay, but this is this is the new look. That okay, I'm okay, pushing right now. But, but then, so you this go, is always going to be around. Okay, so yeah, but you're gonna have a clothing line where your people can buy the core, and it takes. He's a, just gonna do his logo, apparently, right? Is that what you did? Or are you gonna have like other stuff with your logo on shirts and out? Oh, no, it it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna. Nah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a whole clothing line. It's gonna be different type of design. That's, right. That's what so, I was trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm a, This is just this is just the beginning. I'm gonna most definitely uh. Have some different designs and stuff going on. Okay. If it's anything we can do to help, I mean, I know I, we uh, we know a little bit about it. Huh? Mm, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. For sure. We could definitely. Uh, so when are you going to do launch everything? Because what are you coming out with Thursday? Just the jogging sets or what? Uh, yeah, are you just the jogging sets right now. And then. Um, and how many colors? Because I see what you I posted. Got five colors right now. That's a little bit more than what you posted. Because I think you only posted no, I posted, five. I posted five. Oh, five? Okay. Yeah, five what, what, you don't want to share the price point for me? The how price? Much, yeah. How much you selling them for? Uh, 80. Uh, 50, 50 for the top, 30 for the bottom. Okay, that's That's good. reasonable. Bring me some. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going to bring me some. I'm going to put some in the store, too. Okay, for sure. I'm going to buy some from you. See, that's what real folks do, man. You ain't going to find no yeah. real. Like, I'm going to buy some that's going to be here. So you'll be like, go over to E and holler at E. He got them over there. Yeah. Just what like you see, Char- wait a minute. Just like you see Charleston white shirts over there, you oh, yeah. know. I oh even, yeah, I even look through this. They, time yeah, yeah. But I'm just telling you, I always do that. Yeah. I buy. I bought them from him, so I will buy um, some uh, enough to where we can put them in the store, mm-hmm. and because that's what I'm doing. We gonna support the people who support us, support us, and who 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 are here and genuine to the city. Mm-hmm. If we can, that's what I like doing. For sure. So I can't wait. When am I gonna get them? Um, when will you have me pressed up at least by four design a piece mm-hmm. right I'm going to buy I'm going to buy like yeah I think I want a wholesale price now don't try to bring <laughs> that damn thing over here I just thought about that I can't sell them for what you selling them for so you don't have to work with me yeah now we can, we'll work it out we'll work and it out I don't need that much I, I just, get a whole little batch just for you yeah but I, I and that's what I want to do are they going to be here yeah I'm going to buy them and I've sent people right up here I know the that, it, they'll it, buy that and they'll buy some most that's stuff. right whatever you need we just going to do it because that's what needs to happen that's what yeah. we should be doing on these platforms and what size scale are you going up to um, you got them big boy size. My brother, he bought a seven X, eight X. He ain't got Ooh. no seven X. I don't even know where to find that yet. I don't even know where to find that yet. Now, uh, right now, I'm probably going up to. Well, right now, I'm only up to two X. Okay. I might, I might add three X too. I think I seen some three Xs in the place where I be shopping, so I might add three X too. So, okay, yeah, cool. From That's small, cool. I, and it's I gotta get woman. some extra small too. Yeah, for the ladies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Now. What um what what else do you you gonna try to do you some shoes? I can help you with that too. Uh, One step at a time. I ain't oh, okay. Thinking, I ain't about, I ain't we about get no them shoes, shoes nigga. We get by. Three, I've been saying everybody that try to do shoes, pair. they always do like the shoes that just look like Jordan ones or mm-hmm. uh, another variation of forces. I don't. If I do some shoes, out, it would be nothing like that. I don't want a variation of somebody do some else's slides. Design. That's easy. I can do some. Bam. Slides. <laughs> I can do some slides. I love me some slides. Some slides go hard in the summer too. Oh, do year, what really. you love because number one, you have to be your model. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So it has to be something that you love to wear that people are gonna be like, man, let's fly. Yeah, for sure. That. Yeah. So, um, 
What else you got for him? Let's talk about it. Let's get into the that we didn't talk about this. Now we, your music reviews. Let's talk about that for a second. Mm -hmm. I see you've been going hard on them, and somewhere you know I go there. I'm, I'm in mode now. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, I'm looking and listening. All of a sudden, it comes off like Half Pint says, "Dallas music, it, they ain't doing nothing no more. It ain't really much. We we ain't got nothing going on no more." Is that true? Uh, that didn't come from the music reviews. Well, where did okay, it come from? When I when I say that, I don't mean yeah, I don't mean it. it as in nobody's making good music out here no more. Well, what do you mean? Nobody's really pushing like that. Like I feel like everybody's just stagnant. Everybody's just sitting around. Nobody's really. I'm not gonna say nobody. There's some people out there that are working. Like who? I just feel like, um, man. I, I <laughs> Like, <laughs> I know some people. I know some people that's coming with some joints. Like, I be hearing. Um, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be some music. Now, yo, who do you, who do see? I know. Exactly. I know. I, I don't know if I should say it because I'd be knowing inside stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to say this is gonna happen when because I already no, been no, told no. You, that. you gotta you gotta say what's already out. What, okay. what you don't don't talk about what's coming because ain't nobody else heard that. What's yeah, coming. I can't tell you. Well, I know no some coming, but I can't yeah. really just say. Yeah, I just keep it like that. But we don't know. We don't know what it's gonna do. Exactly. Because you never know. Do these people really make money in music? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, back up here. It, it, the mic. Depends, it depends on what you call money. I mean, because you hear the stories. I hear. I have guys that that really go hard in this music, and, and they really make. Like I got a guy. Shout out Al D. Three hundred who make his living and spend and pay his bills off of what he his music. Mm -hmm. And I don't see many people doing that like he does on the level that he does. He's tangible or hand to hand or he creates something and people support him mm -hmm. and he makes sure to make that contact with the individuals that he deal with. Yeah. And so but the other people and I ask him why do you do it that way? And I remember him saying that for one for a million streams it was like four thousand dollars. He was like, I can make that just hustling with people. Yeah, you know, go and so give a lot them of people the music. That don't do that hand to hand hustling no more. They just chunk it out to the internet and hope it do something. If it mm -hmm. don't do nothing, then they on to the next. They be on trying to, to put next, something exactly. else out. Nobody ever, nobody really hustles their music no more. Yeah, but, but have, that's the generation that's that we're the problem. in. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why. That's why everybody. That's why it seems like everybody just so stagnant right now. So, do you feel like it's it's just in Dallas, or do you think this is something that's kind of global? I mean, it, it's it's happening in every city, but. I can only speak for Dallas because this is where it's I'm real at. prevalent but is here. There Dallas Fort Worth is doing it for real, for real. Is that what you say? This is what I see. I don't see everything that's going on in other cities like that. So, but yeah. in the generation that we're in, is there a smarter way to hustle without being, you know, so hand to hand and still, you know, getting your merch out there, still doing what you need to do to make your money? You can do it. You can do it on the internet also, but it's. I don't know. It's so it's so wishy washy to the point where yeah, I think the formula is you've already give it's the formula. You remember DLC? Y'all don't mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say nothing, y'all. <laughs> the formula is you've created a formula to where it works to where you make people to where they come through you for your sources on the uh uh data stream, you know, to get their mm -hmm. music out there. They wanna go through half pint or say cheese or to get recognized. Or, yeah, to mm -hmm. see yeah, mm -hmm. but but I always say a person who really willing to get it out the mud should be willing to create that format for themselves. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. So, I mean, that's hard work though. That's hard work. Niggas don't do hard work. And you got to be willing to be naked for a minute. Yeah. You know what I mean by I that? Know exactly what you mean. Meaning by you that. you you gonna look real funny with about three five, three three uh, subscribers and uh, about ten views. Mm -hmm. And I think people's pride won't let them do that. What do Absolutely you think? Absolutely not. I, I agree hundred percent. So they they rather go through say cheese or half paint or. Who else? Cam, Cam Capone. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a lot of people they do this with in all the major cities. Yeah, I'm being. This is what they do. Mm -hmm. But they'll bug the crap out of you too. They'll keep emailing you, keep you know trying to put new music in, whatever. They because try they're trying it. to get noticed through you, you. Yeah. instead of. But that's the best way to do it. I don't like when people just try to come to me and try to use my platform once. And then when it don't work out, they don't they don't want to try it mm. no more. It's like you got to be consistent. Yeah. Like I got a fan base over here on my shit that's I'm up, I'm uploading multiple people a day just because I uploaded yours once don't mean everybody gonna notice it. But if they see you 
profile times, then mm-hmm. they they might finally catch on. Do you have a lot of people who come to you all the time and oh, yeah. for consistently? Sure. For sure. That's the good part. That that's the great part. Actually. And can you see them getting better in their music? Yes. I can see I see the progress. Okay. For sure. Man, I've been. I got what's his name tomorrow? Big X to plug. Yeah, he was on your platform. Yeah, what do you think NBA about him? Super tough. He was. He's the first artist that I can say like, he's my um, he's the artist that I use right now as the pride of my music reviews. Mm. What this is this is the artist that I use. I'm like, this is what my music reviews can get you, and he'll tell you that he he'll tell you 100. percent His buzz came from my music reviews. Dope. So I can sit there and tell everybody. This is what my music reviews can do for you. Yeah. If if you're really that guy. How many times did he have to come to you before he got that buzz? It was it just that one time? He won the first time. The okay. first time he tried, he won. But it wasn't until after he actually shot the video for the song when he put it out, and then he started buzzing. Okay. And then he he still come to my music reviews and I be telling him he disqualified. Like <laughs> you, you win too much, you disqualify. You can't come here no more. Like you overqualify for this now. But he still come just just throw music but in there. Should, just to, but if I was a musician, I think it would motivate me. Like, I'm going to knock him off his throne. I'm going to show you, you know, type yeah. of thing. It'd it be, it be people. It's a lot of people that, that, that still um, come and try to do what he's doing. Right. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right, so he's anybody else that sticks out like him? Uh, anybody. Anybody come close? Well, from my music reviews, mm-hmm. Smoothie. That's my boy right there. That's he was boy. just here. He was just here. He just got yeah. signed. Yeah. Yeah. I love to see that. Hell yeah. yeah Smoothie. Yeah. Smoothie. Uh, I, I'm not going to say he got his buzz from my music reviews, but a lot of people did hear from him from Do my your music, music reviews. reviews. Yeah, for sure. Dope, man. I didn't even know. See, I'm so out of touch. I just be going by what I hear. Mm-hmm. And I'm not I'm not even at just in touch with the streets like yeah. that. Nah, <laughs> but Smoothie, my, my, Smoothie son, hard, my son, Trey, he, he showed me big ass plug. He showed me. Now, Smoothie, I just, he, I'm from East Texas. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, nigga, mm-hmm. come on through. Yeah. We got this thing, man. <laughs> Any yeah. female stand out to you? Because I hear all of these guys. Oh, here we like, go. This the part with I my. I hear about a female man, now. Come on. Man, it's a female that, that, that I won twice on my reviews now named Honey Gold. She's She's so coming tough. Wednesday. She's so hard. She is Honey coming Gold. Wednesday. Trap. We own it. We own it over here. Y'all, it. Y'all on your job. <laughs> Y'all on Wednesday. your job. She's super tough. For real? Super She's tough. Fly. Wow, what sticks out about her? Man, so she, the cadence? she makes it? industry level music. Literally. Like I was in the I was in the car with my partners and I was playing her music. And then I turn her music off and play some scissor or some her or something. And they think I'm still playing her music. Oh, wow. That's dope. I'm like, okay, that means she she, she in the right fishing. pocket. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It, they couldn't even tell the switch. So who's she signed to? Do you know? Um, She not signed to nobody. She got a management team. She got a team around her. But yeah, she yeah, they call me. That's, yeah. that's how I found out about it. Yeah, shout out to Active. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. Um, so when these people come on and they show their music and they're getting the buzz and so forth, do you, like, try to... Pointing them in the right directions, like, hey, you go over here, you can get signed over here, you can do this, look into that. Do you help them along? Um, I never suggest I never suggest nobody to go sign to nobody because I don't if it don't go right, I don't want that to be my fault. But um once we once once people win on my music reviews and we do have a video shoot, we always chop game and yeah. you know what I'm saying? But why don't you just sign them yourself? Well, here here we go. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. This, this is where I come because in. Let me come people. in now. This is why I gotta come in. Let me fix this up. Can I fix this up? Let me fix this up. And 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 I I wait on her because she might have some input. I mm-hmm. don't know because mm-hmm. she uh she's a uh, uh uh she's well known on this show. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? People know she here. Well known on the show. So, yeah, but we've been, man, I've been enjoying this, man. It actually is fun as hell. I never thought I'd be just consistently doing this. It's it's beginning to be a thing that's okay. Everybody know about us. Mm-hmm. And that, that was crazy. I'm in the store. People want to take pictures. So I know that's great. Like, can I take a picture? I'm like, really? Nigga, you that's tripping? When, hey, that's when that's when I knew that my that I was doing some work. Yeah, and people started taking pictures with me. I was it's like, kind of okay. weird. My son took a picture the other day. That nigga couldn't believe. He's like, damn, I should have <laughs> got on that show myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, like, I've been seeing y'all been having some good ass guests up here. I man, I've seen Faison love. Faison loved like, it here, man. man. He loved it here. Like 
you know, we got we go God gonna continue to bless us, have pain. I don't think yeah. people really understand, man. It's just when when you get favor, man, you never know what could happen. Mm-hmm. I I got people coming that's you won't even believe. I could tell you something blow your mind, man. Like <laughs> now, it's, I it, told it, you it from it day ain't one, just though. a Dallas thing. It's a <laughs> this is a global thing, man. Where it could be anybody sitting mm-hmm. in that seat. It just because I don't know, they see it and they like it. It's the quality of it. That's what they like. It's the quality of it. That's that's what drew me to it the first time I seen it. It like, wasn't me. Like the dude back there said, like, what's up? Check it, check it. You it wasn't, it's the qual- it wasn't I mean, the quality man. comes from you, though. You know what you're doing. Thank it's you. the quality of the show. Man, we trying, man. It's It, it feels professional. It is professional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know <laughs> but, but people, you know, like I said, we still have our issues, and, and that come with it, too. The good, the bad, and the ugly, mm-hmm. you're going to get all of that. But then at the end of the day, you still got to just permeate that with love, man. You can't even let none of that stuff detour you to the left or to the right. And right. I think a lot of times people be trying to, man, trick you out your position. I tell people that all the time. Just keep working. Keep working. If you keep working, that'll worry the hell out of somebody. Yeah. No, even on the job, if you just show up, Oh my God, that'll mess somebody up. That's most of the job. You can't get niggas to just show up on the job. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Not go ask sure. somebody to do something. They'd be like, yeah, I'll be up there, but I got to call in today. I got to <laughs> go do. This is what people do. You can't depend on them, man. Mm-hmm. So when you think about uh, uh, this this whole platform and what we do, and shout out to you <laughs> because you've been consistent <laughs> as hell. Uh, being consistent is important. Very important. Right? The most like, important. Yeah. So how often do you revamp your brand? Like I see you saying now, I change this from that to this. Uh, how often do you try to change things up? Uh, really every year. Every year, that's what I thought too. Every year I change something. Like uh, my intro, I always change like, because my image changed. So yeah. if you look back on my intro, you'll see my hair getting longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now my, my hair braided up on my on my um video intro. I just change that up all the time. That's dope, man. I but think- how hard is it to come up with new ideas for, you know, because sometimes you want you don't want a subtle change. You want a drastic change mm-hmm. so people can notice the difference. Yeah. You know, what? how hard is it to come up with the ideas? Um, It's always I've, it's always been a drastic change. It's never um, it's not that hard. Sometimes the ideas just come to me and I got a guy that's so cold with the graphics that he can make it anything that I want, whatever I want, he can make it happen. That's so cool. whatever I got in my mind, he can he make it happen. It. So, Who is yeah. he? Go his ahead name, and his name is uh his name is Dwight uh <laughs> Kerr, uh normal network. Um, wow, Dwight Kerr, a normal, normal network. network. <laughs> normal, what network up, baby? normal network is his <laughs> Norm- business. Okay. Uh Dwight Mathis is his name. Wow. Shout out, man. Um, so getting back to the paperwork deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I had Carl Crawford on here and I asked that question about the paperwork. Um, and he, it, it was funny to me because I told you this earlier. It's like what happened to him? He kind of throw it your way. Like once him and Megan, that thing didn't work. It kind of pushed him toward Erica Mm -hmm. to try it again, you know, and then kind of the, you know, it's just like things changed, transpired over into the Erica thing with him and it's been successful for him. Do you feel like you should have gotten paperwork on Erica or either? I wouldn't say yellow because you always tell me that was your friend mm-hmm. and that's different because y'all kind of started yeah. up together. But do you feel like now if you could go back and change it, you would have asked about the paper? Hell yes. What? I wish I... <laughs> like, Carl is still getting paid off everything Megan does. I know. So... If I was still getting a percentage, if I ever, I never got a percentage off anything Correct. Ever, Erica ever did. If I was getting a percentage off what she had going on right now, that would be beautiful. Would be but beautiful. That so, would be beautiful. So, did you even think to say, "Hey, man, let's uh, let, let we may need to draw some paperwork up"? Nope. Never even thought about it. Why? I was not. I don't know. That never where my heart was at. I just wanted to help. Yeah, them that shit dead though. It is. Them days are over. You're not doing that no more. I'm not doing that no more. So, why do you feel like? Um, do you feel like now you got to do it the right way? Cause the people that I help never reach back and help me. Never reach back. Never. 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 never ever. Ever. You got to realize, man. Like Kanye, you know, he's a billionaire now, and a heavy billionaire. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I love about him is that he. Dame Dash, he pulled a move, I think, on Jay when he went back and started hanging out with Dame and doing the stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And 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 
him and Jay was doing their thing there for a second, and it looked like he was over there with Jay. But then after the like the when when his cup started to run over, he he remembered. He remember Dame. I'm mm-hmm. serious. I'm being real. I seen that. Yeah. I'm like, dang, I like that. Even Benny Siegel. He mm-hmm. remember Benny Siegel. Yep. You see, that's love, man. And 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 you don't really. That's rare. Yeah. People so rare. selfish. You know what I mean? It's very rare. So hopefully you, a nigga ain't got to get six billion dollars to, to, to do to, to look back. Tell me about <laughs> it. But so when you so you say you wish you would have signed, Erica. Uh, is it any more? I wish I would have made made sure the paperwork was right and. Have you presented paperwork now and people say, you know, I don't know, I'm going to do it, or I, don't, I ain't doing it, or have you had those issues? Yeah, I had those issues. Uh, I done had, I done lost a couple artists because they didn't want to sign paperwork with me, and it is what it is. Shit. So but you, why wouldn't the artist want to, especially if you can give them what they need, why wouldn't they want to sign with you? That's something you got to ask the artist. Correct, and, and, and you got to move on. Listen, man. That's I gotta a, move on. Gotta move on, and and that's when you find out who really down and who not. Because you're not for to use me. I told you last time you was here. I told you to get that paperwork right. You remember I said that? Yep. I said, man. I said it on call thing. I was like, man, you gotta get these niggas some paperwork. <laughs> that's my paperwork queen right there. She, you see how she do you when you come in. Uh-huh. That's what we do. We are gonna sign it. it. It don't have to. be It could be an envelope. Yeah. But you are gonna sign something to say me and you in agreement, or we not in agreement, or we we got something going when mm-hmm. we got something going. But what I want to know from an artist standpoint, artists come to you. And um, is considering signing. What can you offer an artist? Um, well, obviously, free videos, free videos, my, everything. My platform, my my fan base. Um, I I tend to put a lot of eyes on people. People may not notice it at the time, but I do. I put a lot of eyes on people, even if, if a lot of times it be people that that won't even say nothing or. Acknowledge that they know who you are until you see them or until you leave me, and but they they watching the whole time. These people be watching. So you signing them to have them um, to give them exposure to get to that next level, or you can take them to that next, you know, because you cause um, from what you're saying, that's, that's you're what just, I, that's what I was doing at right. first. So what are you doing now? Now I'm signing you, giving you the exposure, and you are going to stick with me till we get to this next, next level. level. Okay. I and agree then, with that. And and or you can go to the next level. Uh, you can sign with somebody else, but I'm still gonna have some kind of cut in this, or that's or right. They're gonna have to pay me out to get right, you right to or get you like, or stuff yeah. like and that. And I agree okay. with that. I, yeah, and that's yeah. what I was saying last time because I know it's got to be a booger bear. You know, when I think about you and, and like I said, when I think of you, I think of say cheese. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's the that's the common mm-hmm. denominator. Mm-hmm. And I know he's done very well with the people he's dealt with. And I say very well. I don't know him from the outside yeah. looking in. But <clears throat> but it seems that he has something to where he can uh generate these people and they say, Yeah, we with him, mm-hmm. you know. And then I see some blow out and be acting real throwed off online. So you're gonna get that part too. Yeah. But that's a part, like I told Carl Crawford, about. that's a part of being a boss. Yeah, You got to have some tough skin. People not going to like you. <laughs> Everybody don't like the boss or nothing. That ain't something they just be like, oh, yeah, I love it. No, no we going to talk about that nigga behind his and back. And that be the discouraging part because <laughs> right. it's like when your, when your heart's so pure and your intentions is always pure and somebody just go and go off and like try to convince everybody that it's something else or something like that, it's just like, Ah, that's the part of it. This is a cutthroat no business. I've always heard this business is a cutthroat business, and that's what you're gonna, especially the music industry. That's what you're gonna get. Definitely. So if you're going into it with a pure heart, it's hard for you to deal with people. You damn near gotta be a fuck nigga. Exactly. You got to. You got exactly. To. You got to be. You cannot have. You got your feelings can't be involved either. And you got to no be able to let people walk in, right, in and out of hurt. your life, bro, easily. Definitely. So, but I, okay, I had one more question um, about the artist. So, you know, everybody's all about money nowadays. Mm-hmm. So, with you signing an artist, how do they make money while they're with you? Um, so you talking about on, exposure, but how does speaking that? Speaking on them past money? experiences, um, I never, I never actually took any money from any artist that I've ever signed. No, but how do they make money? I'm not talking about you. From from their streams and yeah. whatever they put out, they can make money however the fuck they want to. Okay. And I'm not I'm not taking none of it. The only artist that I've ever got a cut from was Lil Tuzi. Okay. And that's because he was actually making enough to give me a cut that makes sense. Okay, so in the past you weren't doing that, but now going in with your new um, ventures that you're doing, how, 
how much cut are you getting from them? Twenty uh, percent. It depends. Yeah, like twenty, twenty, maybe thirty. Thirty. Because because you do videos more. and I'm, all that. Doing yeah. I'm now. doing videos. Yeah, yeah, I'm paying yeah. for everything. Yeah. yeah. It's not. I'm not just a manager. I'm. I'm really playing the manager and the CEO yeah. role. Right. So I've had those conversations okay. with might, people. Might be fifty percent. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Listen, why I say that depends on the artist and how much they bring. How in. much? You know, how much I'm spending. Oh, okay. That's right. And 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 to be honest with you, I'm saying this because. People do come to you saying they need a manager, but they really looking for an investor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you have to be able to a lot of make them. Do not understand they that. don't understand that a manager is not supposed to spend no money on. No, you are supposed to pay money to him twenty percent. You need to do. You need to do a YouTube video that's explaining all of that. So, I could do that, and people are still uh, that's right not comprehend. People be so stupid, bro. It's so frustrating. But that's good though. Like I said, you. This is a part of being a boss, a leader. Yeah. You got to go through all of the trials and tribulation of educating people on, hey, this is who I am and this is what I do and this is what I provide. Mm -hmm. Other than that, don't ask me for nothing else because at the end of the day, you got to bring something to say. I had a guy that hit me up just yesterday and said, uh, yeah, um, I need a manager. I got $20,000. I say, uh, what you need? <laughs> so this is the way this go. You know what I'm saying? We have to work together. You know? <laughs> People that did me like that too, but I don't even take those. I don't even take those type of no, no, no. opportunities. I think Why? it's because well, first of all, first of all, if you got twenty thousand dollars for a niggas to uh, for a nigga to manage you, then I don't feel like you really need nobody to manage you. I feel like you ain't even trying. No, I think I can see that because some people, some people want to just stick to their craft though. They don't want to do anything about. The business part of it, which you would have to be doing. They just want to rap, sing, do whatever. They want you to do everything else. Mm -hmm. They want to stay in the studio, just create, 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 and you do everything else. And that's else. the thing. I don't even like doing that part. Me neither. I mm -hmm. like having, I don't even like doing the business part. I don't answer phones. I don't like, I let my artists do their own, um, set up their own. Like when they drop a tape or when they want to release a single, I let them do it on their own, like under their own shit. I don't like doing none of that. But shit. when you think about it, like the guy with the twenty thousand, I think he's more looking for a, a, a consultant, somebody mm -hmm. to say which way do I go with my, with my finances as I generate them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like how you know I'm trying to understand what makes sense to spend on what, right? Because you would know that better than because you've been trying so long. Let's just be right. real. You're <laughs> to make sure that you look out for people, and you've looked and out. You've for learned people. so much. Exactly. You want to know, know the crazy thing about it though. Most of the people, not even most of, damn near 100% of the people that's actually made it or made something out of music didn't spend no money really doing it. Mm. Wow. But Nobody, I always hear that you, you ain't have never to heard about Yellow Beezy paying for no promo for nobody or nobody. You never heard. NBA young he boy. He didn't have to pay for no promo because no he had you. You were <laughs> promoing the hell out of it. You're right. You're right. But, yeah, but normally that ain't normal circumstance. Everybody homeboy don't have no everybody homeboy no videographer that's out here going in hard for him like that. Everybody homeboy can be a videographer though. Cause I at one they point not I good, wasn't a bro. They not good. Everybody don't have the talent. I wasn't bro. good at but first. Everybody don't just grasp it Look, like that. Being a videographer is not a talent. It's a passion. It's a it's a fucking it's a learned trade. I get it, but you can get on YouTube and learn this shit. But it's everybody not is not a you. Talent. Everybody is not uh, anybody. Shout could out be to Twan, but you Visual, always hear Shout out to certain say, ones, but everybody not. You could tell a good video. You know, you said it last time. You said this is different between. I don't know who you wanted to compare it to, but you made it like it was these other niggas had TV dinners and you had some gourmet meal. Yeah, you know that's what because I'm that's because when I first got into it, I was so passionate about it that I learned it, and I'm still not the best. My video, I don't got the best videos in the world. Shit, this motherfuckers out here that they go hard, that huh? go hard in the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's niggas coming up on their first year and they go harder than me. I I give them their props all day long, but but. It's more to it than just going hard at it, too, though. But you hear a lot of musicians come in here and they say, you know, in order to be in this business, you got to spend that bread. You can't be cheap on spend, spending that bread. They always say that. Yes, but it depends on what you're spending it on. And it depends on, it depends on, okay, so, like, I say blog posts and stuff like that. A lot of people be spending money on blog posts and they'll just post music videos on blogs and shit like that. But that's not what, that's not what 
people uh, pay attention to on blogs no more. A lot of times it'd be just people doing regular life shit or some stupid shit or shit like that. That's what people pay attention to on blogs. Like mm-hmm. you got to spend your money right. Like you got to be pushing the right shit out there. So I'm going to go in on top off. What, what, uh, top off, uh, artists is, are there left? Are there still a, a lot of them? Uh, Papa run all the different people who are all over there now. Okay. Artists. Little Runny Mother F. That's my boy right there. Shout out Lil Runny. Yeah, that boy hit me for Christmas. I didn't hear from Half Paint, but nigga. Lil Runny, <laughs> shout out, baby. Yeah. You got Lil Runny. You got Mike Fresh. Mike Fresh, I met him. Uh-huh. I, when he coming on the show, you won't let that I, boy come. Boy, you, you hard on that nigga. I ain't that gonna that gonna that 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 that. You got that. Now, you the one got to invite him. Yeah, you are either Lil Runny. I let him know. I, if you don't know one, you can't. You got to. It's like Clubhouse, nigga. You got to be invited, invited in, man. man. <laughs> Mike Fresh will come up here tomorrow if you want to. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Lorraine. Mike Fresh. Um, um, Swerve Lord. Okay. Okay. That's, that's the one. My that's artist. the one. That's Wasn't that the one that supposed to show up, up but didn't show yeah. up? Swerve didn't What's come. That's, nigga, that's, man? That, that, that's my artist. I I take the blame for that. Um, Pusha Man Live. That's my boy right there. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pusha Man Live. Tori Lee. Tori Lee, I don't know. I don't know that. You're going you gonna to hear about it. Okay. You're going to see him. Huh? He funny. He funny. He, see, he know what's going on with Tori Lee. Oh, yeah, he keep up with it. You got Mr. JB the Barber. Okay. You got Lil Breed of Young Beast. Okay. And um, I think that's it. Let me make sure. Let me no go females. down. Let me go down. Nope, we ain't got no so females. So, Siani, Siani, not, not. Nope. That's over. Nope. Well, Are y'all open to taking more females? Taking females? I don't want no more females right now. Can, and can can He's can scarred. can I get you to consult? Like like if I called if I was an artist and be like, man, I just want to pay you to try to look out for me in a certain way to help me build my brand. Y'all do that, right? No. What? What build Damn, your brand? Man, what kind? What you mean? If like I, build- if I got if I got say. A hundred bands or uh, fifty bands, and I say I want to try to. I consult. do anything for a hundred bands. <laughs> I tell a no, nigga, like I'm just giving nigga all the game I got for a hundred bands. So I want to consult. I don't want to sign, but I want to put my money up. I want to pay you for your services to help me to push my brand. I oh, think yeah, for I, sure. I, I think I'll do be that. Dope. But there's don't no guarantee. Mm-hmm. No, it ain't gonna be no guarantee. But there's it's never still, a guarantee. But it's still and get that in writing <laughs> because some people be like, "Man, I thought you was gonna do this and yeah, this and this." Yeah, exactly. Me. Anything I you do just, with anybody, especially where money's concerned, mm-hmm. make sure you get it in writing. Exactly. I agree with there's that. hundred no, percent. No guarantees in this. Shit. Let me ask you about uh, K Twan Fame was on here, mm-hmm. and um, <laughs> yeah, I think didn't didn't have fame come up or something. Y'all had didn't y'all have a little situation of some sort. The situation? Where nah, hell no. Nah. Well, did did he do something? You did something for him? I got to go back and listen. I did, man, it was something went down. You, boy, you niggas don't like, like to tell it. Nah, me and K Twan ain't never had no never, situation. Y'all never did business. Yeah, and I think it was me something and K Twan started, do. I got started to out together. Y'all started out together. Like when K Twan first started doing music, I was doing all his videos. He was like one of the niggas that was like. He was probably paying me for a video like four times a month, three, four times a month type Then shit. something happened. What happened that made him stop paying you that? For, come on, give it up. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, it's something. I'm going to go back and get it. When I play it on the interview, I think he said it on the interview. I'll get it. You know I'm going to bring it up. Me, let me know. <laughs> no, this is what happened. And then, bam, it's going to come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'll wait for the flashback. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I, no. I don't remember. Nothing happened. Um, so, I mean... Was you with him when Drake called him? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? The? I'm just asking the question. The people want to know. Was you with him? <laughs> <laughs> was you with him? Or no, nah, nah, I wasn't with him with Drake. <laughs> what? Well, he had texted him. He wasn't even with him. When no. Drake called him. <laughs> so. So uh, yeah, it was it, it was things like that 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 came out of the interview, and he have a million million. And I told him, I said, are these legitimate, you know, followers? And and he had told us, what did he say? He watched he wrestling a- or something, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he didn't answer the question straightforward to say that yes or no. He just said that it's just like if you watch wrestlers wrestling. and you he believe that the wrestlers this- are, you know, it's for real that all of this is for real, and then to come One to find out that found it's out not. It's fake. All of a sudden, you stop following wrestlers, and that's what he said. So there's there's, there's your answer right <laughs> there. He, he talked about uh, some more people who had millions of followers who don't get a lot of engagement. 
which made sense a little to me. Like, okay, I get where he's coming from. Some of these people that should be getting more engagement, they yeah, got a lot yeah, of it goes on. It's going down. But I I feel like well, first no, let me say this. First of all, I feel like buying fake followers views, any of that is stupid. But if you're gonna do it, at least do it to where it makes sense. Okay. I like got you it. can't you I can't you can't got down buy a million followers and then you got somebody else over here that's clearly doing way better than you, way higher than you, and they don't even got this like it don't even it don't even make sense. Well, let me ask you this. Um, that goes for anybody. Not so, just is there a proper time K-Tor. to buy f- followers? Though, is it a proper? There's never a proper time to buy followers. <laughs> okay. Well, let me no. tell you something. Being that you, you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. You little run it, uh, MF's uh, uh, label mate, mm-hmm. per se. Um, and I was told that if you put K K Twan said this, you put him in the room with uh, Yellow Beezy, Mo Three. Uh, Lil Runny, he say it's gonna when he come out with a hit, it's gonna be him, and, and only one that may give him a little competition <laughs> is uh is Mo Three, only one. R.I.P. Mo Three. That's what he said. Uh, do you agree look with that? Look I mean, I'm just asking the questions. You know? <laughs> <laughs> do you, let's do I'm just asking the question that people want to hey, know. Hey, this is what happened on my show. On a, a funny nigga, <laughs> <laughs> but look. The fact that we even talking about K Twan right now means that whatever he's doing is working. That's yes, what I'm talking about. The Good fact stuff. that we even talking about like K Twan right now, yeah, whatever he's doing is working. It's I, working. I love it. But <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> so you think Lil Ronnie is an interesting character because he writes and everything else, and certain mm-hmm. people he can't disclose that he write for. But at the end of the day, we've seen the, the incredible movement of what he does through uh, Iggy. Iggy Azalea and uh, Mulatto, you know, the mm-hmm. stuff that he's wrote. Um, this guy is super talented. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling like, dang, Lil Ronnie should be should like be way global, universal. I be right like, now. this thing really supposed to be bigger than everything that's going on. It give me a headache every day. Oh uh, yeah, that's every called, day he not famous. Do you think that you holding him back? Let me but, just sit there. <laughs> now. Let's go there. You know I'm crazy. No, but why is it that he's not there? Why? Because he's not your homeboy. Because he's not a controversial artist, and he don't care to be. Okay. He don't care. A, a lot of people that you see that's up there, they got they, it's some kind of controversy, especially coming from this city. It was some kind of controversy around their name. They was beefing with somebody. Everybody. Or, nope. or did some fool ass shit. Lorraine, you've never seen that with Lorraine, and you right. never will. Okay. Never will. Even if he got beef with somebody, you will never know until they beat up. What do you think it would be something if you and do you, you and Lorraine, could y'all ever leave Dallas, move out of Dallas, Fort Worth area? Of course. We when? Can. <laughs> y'all never moved. We never moved yet. You niggas is straight, hardcore Dallas, Fort Worth dudes, we man. We ain't moved yet. Oh, you trying to say y'all might? Mm-hmm. So what city um, do y'all, y'all too love? Too in here. Too much going on. You can't leave. It ain't a goddamn thing going on here. <laughs> Whoa! Watch yourself. Remember, son. Everything, is, <laughs> everything is internet ran right now, so you can be so anywhere. Can be exactly. Yeah. I, could, I could be in Atlanta right now and oh, that's do the same thing. That's what you think. Yeah, that's, that's the place that is. I'm definitely like thinking about moving. I'm definitely thinking about moving to Atlanta. Atlanta's sure. nice. What that's what about Atlanta? Lives. What is it about Atlanta that you love more than Texas? But it got bigger trees. It's just more motion out there. It's just more emotion, especially for a rapper. It's more emotion out there. But I heard that in Atlanta, people, they click up together. What do you mean by that? I heard there's like, like to go in, is like you have to be with this click or that click. That's what I heard about Atlanta. Oh. You mean as far as the music go? Yes. Well, you don't have to click no. with nobody when you establish brand. Exactly. That's why people I, already know you. I could go to any state in the United States. I could humbly say that I can go to any state talk your talk, in the USA go on and I'm them. still going to be half point films. Yeah. I can make I can make a living in any state in the USA, for sure. I you, know this. I believe that too. For I sure. I know you. I know because I was down at uh, Tony's place. I believe it was down at uh, what's that? Shout out to Exclusive. Uh, he got a clothing store mm. called Eclu- Exclusive down in Atlanta downtown. And uh, when I walked in that thing, it said, "Boom, it's a half pint film, bitch." <laughs> I said, yeah, nigga, that's my boy right there. <laughs> and so I know that it's going down just like that all over the place. Everywhere. So, I'm, I'm me wherever I go, for sure. And I, I like that. I love it, the fact that you established like that. So you'll come back and do the show if you live in Atlanta? Absolutely. Okay. I fly here just for that's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what everybody else doing. Shout out to Boss Talk 101, <laughs> what nigga flying in, get on here. <laughs> 
I love to see it. <laughs> so recently, he was online with who again? Oh, when he was here we go. About, here. I want to because I'm very curious here about we that go, situation. Man. When you was on, when he was online, how is it possible for you to have this many flaws? Are you not monetized? She heard that. This is what yeah, went down. Monetized. Why? How? YouTube blocked me a long time ago. When I first made my YouTube, okay, let me explain it. When Here we I go. First, when Here I we first go. made my YouTube and I got eligible for monetization, Google AdSense, as you know, right. that's, that's right. That's correct. Monetized through. Mm -hmm. I figured out how it worked. When people click the ads, mm -hmm. that's where you get the most money from. Exactly. Okay. So, me being a dumbass, I figured this out soon as it was monetized, being too smart. <laughs> but you not being clicking, smart enough, clicking I'm ads. clicking the ads <laughs> myself <laughs> repeatedly, trying to run up the bag. Them they folks cut me out. off. They, and so never on, gave it back. So you were doing it from your own emails? What You don't know, create some other I'm emails? I'm on my YouTube <laughs> page. <laughs> it's it's that that the video. Is. Was that. And when the commercial come up before the video, I'm clicking it. Yeah, what year was that? 2012. Wow. So it, I would think that there would be enough time that has passed that they would say, okay, we can revisit this and you can get monetized nope. now. Have you ever tried to go back and... I've tried multiple times and I've had plenty of people. I've talked to people from YouTube and they just told me, you got to make a new page. And I tried to make a new page and then I realized I got 500. This is when I had 500,000 subscribers already. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to be... <laughs> I, I, think I, ran up, I think I ran up like... 1,200, 2,000 subscribers on my new page in the first day. Nope, nobody wants to be on the page with 2,000 subscribers. They come mm -hmm. and they paying me to be on this page with 500,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had to take it for what it was. But, but, even though I'm not monetized, even though I, I still do uploads and shit like that, so... I feel like I'm making more money than than your average person. I think so as well. Just doing because it, cause it's a platform. Now. It's basically you're you're pretty much uploading and charging people um, for doing certain things for different individuals. It's a business, and and that's dope. And a lot of the things that people would expect me to get paid for, I wouldn't have been getting paid for anyways because it's copyrighted music. Yeah, yeah. Right. So all that money would be going to the artist anyway. It would, it well, would, I don't know about it would that. demonetize. Demonetized. I don't know about that. You know, it's some people that's doing it that they're not giving it to the artist. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, it wouldn't be going to me for sure. I get it. Any Anything that's copywriting would be demonetized immediately. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't be getting paid for this. So do you do these? Um, cause I know you do it on YouTube, but um, do you also do it like Facebook and all these other platforms to get paid? You know, um. You talking about like reviews do you and stuff yeah like do that. you do anything oh, yeah, on yeah, I do I do Facebook. I do reviews on um when I go live on YouTube it, YouTube I'll be I'll be live on Instagram Facebook too so do you ever try to get paid on Facebook set it up where you can get paid monetize and Facebook monetize and it's a paid. it's a game it's a way that you can I'm, um I've been working on that but I gotta have you gotta have like your like an artist page or whatever like the um like your company page mm -hmm. and it take like so many different um. It's a lot of requirements. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's a lot of requirements before you can even get paid. So I'm, I've been building that up, but okay. I know you have time. a huge following, so I wasn't sure if you already had all of that over there. So you no, because I was it. never using it. I was, I didn't know. I didn't know I was gonna ever want to use it. So I wasn't really pushing it for the past mm -hmm. <laughs> three, four years. So, so do, you, do you think of? Uh, um, Faison said y'all bull crap and y'all ain't getting no damn money. Faison was on here the other week. He said Country Wayne. I asked him about the the uh, what did I ask him about the because uh, Country Wayne they Country said Wayne's that had made millions millions on, on uh, just his uh, skits and his comedy and all that. And he was like, Nah, man, I get residuals. So it was a back and forth thing on that side because being on social world, media, they can't get residuals, but they do get exposure and they do get money from all these different platforms. Nah, they. People like Country Wayne, they get paid from Facebook. Yeah, of course but do they, they do. get paid residuals off of... Years from now, they won't get residuals. Not like the old movie guys, like uh, Ice Cube and all these people. Or musicians. All this stuff. Be like, I'm trying to think of that, stuff not, that stuff not... It's, it's monetized, so... Of course it's monetized. As long as it's still getting viewed, it's still getting, they still getting paid. That makes sense. He said, what he's saying is it, it, it is a... So, uh, just, um, you know, um, just a crazy, crazy... Uh, thing when you feel like you know comedy um music all these things have hit 
streaming and, and, and social media platforms and you have to find a way to monitor. I love what you're doing with the clothes now mm -hmm. because that's something that you should have been doing all consistently the whole time. Yeah, I definitely it shouldn't have been. never stopped. Yep. You should have little little uh, watches and uh, little necklaces now, nigga, <laughs> floating around holidays. Yeah. Anytime uh, Valentine's Day come, it's a little heart with halftime film <laughs> on that hoe. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But yeah. but that's the way it go. You know, you build as you go, and so many times you got to start, su you know, supplying your people when it comes down to, hey, man, it's it's a, a certain holiday. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff matters. You know it being a business lady, you know, during the holidays, you have to switch up the mm -hmm. format of what you're doing. Yeah. And all that stuff is uh, marketing and just uh, being able to supply to your customer base, yeah. right? Yep. And so, what's next for your brand? Um... <clears throat> um... I'm not really I'm not really sure right now. That's I actually was having a long think to myself as I was driving over here trying to figure out what's next for me. I don't know right now. Yeah, because you know how us entrepreneurs are is like as soon as you drop that or it's time to do something else. You, you already time started thinking about okay, what next after this? Because you have mm -hmm. to always keep this relevant because like for me, I'm like I don't want everybody seeing the same thing. As much as we have different people come on, you have to switch it up to make it yep. brand new. Yeah. It it always come to me though. Some I always figure it out. It always come to me like when I started doing music reviews. It just came to me. I didn't sit. I didn't sit around and bust my brain thinking about it. It just came to me. I was like, okay, this one. I'm gonna you try this out. You know what you should do. I just what? thought about that. Here we go. Um, you need to do reviews on some of these um, movies that have been coming out. I'm not talking about big movies because now we've been having a lot of people coming in like making their own movies, mm -hmm. premiering them. Mm -hmm. You need to be reviewing those types of movies. See, the hard part about that is if it's like a lot of times you can't like... You can't, you can't view it. View it. That's yeah, you right. can't view it at the same time as as you... like. You know what I'm saying? You can't mm -hmm. play a, a full movie through on YouTube because it'll get it'll get taken down. So. You can't do like bits and pieces like the... the, the what should I say? The best no, parts of it. That'll be so long. Oh, you okay. stand a chance of getting even messed with about that if a person don't want you doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then that'd be that'll be taking yeah. money out their pocket because you said they could just watch my video and watch the movie with me instead of paying them. Yeah, it takes a lot. It takes a while. What about mm -hmm. what about the bloggers and the interviewers and the way that look like Dallas is ripping through with all these different people getting up saying this and saying that? Look like, I mean, they're getting very popular too. It's a bunch of them. What you talking about bloggers? Yeah, bloggers. So, what do you think about that in the Dallas area? <clears throat> Cause you got you can it's have a lot a of everything in Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah, right? it's a lot of Dallas Fort Worth got it. I, I feel like everybody see a lot of people see it working for other people, so they just a lot of people just start doing it, and eventually those people will fall off. Yeah. But they kind of water it down at the same time. But I feel like actually the blogs and people like y'all are like keeping the DFW alive right now. Yeah, because I've heard a lot of people who come in and say that out of all the different cities, Dallas have the best, the biggest, and the best blog bloggers. Definitely, the most, the most, the most. Yeah, everybody sure. say that. That's sure. crazy. That's real crazy. And I didn't get into this because of nobody. Because of that, mm -mm. hell no. I yeah. come in doing it different because I knew I didn't know what. I'm yeah. just coming through this. I'm like just, I don't even consider y'all a blog. I'm gonna show I you how to get yeah, down yeah, with blog. the interview world. That's all I was thinking in my mind. I'm gonna talk to every nigga around and bring them in the store, and they gonna know about what we're doing over mm -hmm. here. And that's what's going down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's working out. It's working out real well. So what you got? You got you ready to give it to him? Yes. Oh man, yes, we got something sir. special for you today, baby. Yes, sir. We here at Boss Talk, which I'm going to present it over there again, too. Okay. Would love to present you Laron Perkins. That's me. Half Pine Films. That's me, it too. It says, in recognition for your many years of amazing videography. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, using your developmental skills to build and enhance your artist in the music industry. Yes. Man, it's just a token of our appreciation, man, for uh, basically, you know, we want to give roses out wow. You, we are able to. Why are you here? Why I'm here? Before you move to Atlanta, nigga, we want to try to do it now. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I love it. I love it. There it is right there. See that? That's that's good. That's good game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love to so, see it. Hey, man, thank you so much, man. You, Hey, man, you always a blessing, man. Thank you for uh, always coming through. And uh, when we call you, it ain't, no, it ain't no hard thing to get to you, man. You, you've been very uh, open on to Boss Talk 101. And man. always will be. Man, that's what I'm saying. We're going to be around, man, getting down. 
So thank you so much, brother. We yes, appreciate sir. you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. We love you. Love y'all, too. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Okay, Mr. Perkins. That me. Okay. Boss Talk would love to present you Mr. Laurent Perkins' half Pine Films in recognition for your many years of an amazing videography using your developmental skills to build and enhance young artists in the music industry. Yes. Thank you very much. I love to see it. feel like I got a Grammy. It's my Grammy. There it is. <laughs> hey, we giving our roses while they're here, bro. Hey, man, this, is, this guy here, he's done everything you could do with the videographer. Videography here in the Dallas market, man. Music and reviews. Music reviews. You niggas know what he do. I'm if y'all want to get on, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs>